What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide video. So the other day I started a new thing where I just said, hey, top comment will be the next Pokemon that we cover and of course we're going to continue that today. So comment down below the Pokemon you want me to cover next in the moveset guide and I'll get to it as soon as possible. But the top comment last time was actually for Goldengo. While I'm not a big fan of this guy, I will admit it is a pretty major VGC threat, and that's because of its ability good as gold, which is going to make it immune to all status, like just any any status. It's kind of insane. You have to be like Mold Breaker to, uh, to Will-O-Wisp this guy, to Thunder Wave this guy, to Sleep It, uh, and that makes it especially valuable in uh, matchups like Lily Cole or versus like Sporamungus. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily poke... Uh, I messed that up. I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content, uh, and I don't edit my videos, apparently, because that's probably going to stay in. No, I do edit my videos, but yeah. Uh, so, Goldango is very interesting. It is a Ghost and Steel type. I believe the only other Pokemon with that typing is Aegislash, unless I'm missing something. Uh, and it has some pretty incredible stats. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This thing is fat. It is decently fast, and it hits like a truck. So, it's got 87 HP, 60 attack, 95 defense, 133 special attack, 91 special defense, and 84 speed. For reference, this is pretty similar to like Incineroar Bulk, um, but it's faster and it hits harder. It just doesn't have as much utility. Honestly, the, like this thing's move pool as far as non-damaging moves is very, very shallow. It gets like Light Screen and Reflect, but that's not really easy to run on this guy. Uh, and it gets like Thunder Wave. And beyond that, it's all damage moves. Uh, but its coverage is pretty decent. So uh, this one's gonna be a bit shorter of a moveset guide, but that just makes it easier to get into, doesn't it? So let's get into the first one. Uh, this guy's gonna be running Choice Specs or Choice Scarf. Your decision, I think that uh, it, it, it kind of depends. Uh, the thing is that we're in a metagame where Fluttermane exists, and Fluttermane can obviously annihilate this thing with a Shadow Ball coming off a 135 special attack. So the issue isn't necessarily the fact that it outspeeds, because a Scarf would be able to deal with that, but more the fact that it outspeeds and it can get even faster with Protosynthesis, and its most popular Protosynthesis set is the one that increases speed, so it has like a Choice Scarf built on top of its 135. So it's going to outspeed you even if you're Scarf, so keep that in mind. Uh, it might be worth it to run this guy on Tailwind, especially for running the spec set. But we have the Choice Specs with Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt. Now, Shadow Ball is obviously going to be your main Ghost Stab. Dazzling Gleam is just going to be coverage for hitting, like, anything. Like, Specs Dazzling Gleam off a 133 special attack, even without Stab, is hitting everything really hard. Uh, and Thunderbolt can either be swapped out for Power Gem, uh, or it can actually be swapped out for Power Gem if you are concerned with the Arcanine lead, because you can hit that pretty hard. On, it, it'll almost never KO if they're running a bulky one, but it is still worth it to pick up Chip. Um, but the Thunderbolt, I actually recommend, uh, because it's going to help you deal with opposing Dondozo, uh, because while they do get that plus two special defense when they have a Tatsugiri in their mouth, you're bulky enough to eat a hit for the most part, and smacking it with a Specs Thunderbolt is still going to deal like 75% if they're not running enough bulk. So yeah, uh, make it rain. I didn't cover that one because this is really interesting. It's 120 base power, so it's slightly weaker than Draco Meteor, which I believe is 130. Um, yeah, it, it is... Hold on, sorry. I want to make sure I'm not spreading misinformation. Yeah, Draco Meteor is 130 uh, and 90 accuracy. Well, this is like a steel type Draco Meteor, but it's weaker, 100% accurate, and it only lowers your special attack stat by one. So it's, it's actually probably a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it's going to hit like a truck, especially off the specs, because basically what happens is your first make it rain is choice specs boosted. And then the next one is basically as though you never had the minus one. So you can click that twice and it's still going to hit like a truck. You could probably get two free KOs. Uh, so this thing's really threatening on the offensive side. Uh, but yeah, it's it's probably going to be really good. Some advantages of Goldango is that it's fake out immune. Uh, it doesn't care about Spore at all. Like you can't be put to sleep under Trick Room. So even if like you're facing like uh, Amoongus plus, I don't know, uh, what's like a Trick Room Pokemon? Amoongus plus like uh, Clod Sire. Let's just throw Clod Sire out there. You're probably going to be able to survive a hit and then smack one of the two with Make It Rain. Uh, and it's not like the Amoongus can put you to sleep or anything. Like, it's just an unavoidable nuke. So that, that's really scary. Uh, I think he's actually probably going to be really good uh, as the metagame develops. But for right now, I haven't seen it too much. The next set is going to be a Focus Sash set. 
basically the same max speed max special attack timid nature we have the focus sash good as gold make it rain dazzling gleam and shadow ball but you'll notice we dropped our other uh, our other coverage move for nasty plot the reason we're dropping it for nasty plot is because with this focus sash set uh it's going to allow us to click nasty plot once get to plus two and then effectively you have three free make it rains where it doesn't really have any drawbacks uh and yeah, like that's, it just seems disgusting. It really does. Dazzling Game at plus two is also going to be one-shotting a lot of things. Uh, and something I didn't mention in the last move set, but it's going to be pretty standard across the board for all three of these, is I don't recommend Terra Ghost. I think you want to be Terra Steel, because in the face of Fluttermane, you're going to be able to eat whatever hit it wants to go for if you're not weak to it. So tra uh, changing into uh, Terra Steel is probably going to be for the uh, for the best in most cases. Terra Ghost still has its uh, uses, obviously, uh, if you don't want to get faked up, but still have a very powerful ghost move, you know, you can do that. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, that's the main draw uh, of this set is you want to be just Focus Sash Nasty Plot to get that free setup. Uh, the main thing that Focus Sash is useful here, does, despite the fact that it's like, you know, super bulky, I still think Sash is going to be a good item because it gets outspeed by Arcanine and can probably get like Flare Blitzed. Uh, but the Focus Sash is especially useful because your Steel type, you're immune to Sandstorm damage, Hail damage is gone, we're now using Snow. So really the only way you're going to be like in trouble with the Focus Sash is if your opponent has like a scrappy fake out user. So like that's usually off the table, you're, you're pretty much fine just to set up. And the final moveset is actually going to be an Assault Vest moveset. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, none of these movesets have had any non-damaging moves other than like Dazzling, not Dazzling, other than like Nasty Plot, because it doesn't really get any. Uh, so the Assault Vest set just says, all right, yeah, I don't have any non-damaging moves anyways. Let's just have coverage. So we're running Make It Rain, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Assault Vest, good as gold. We have 220 HP, four defense, four special defense, 28 speed, and 252 special attack with a modest nature. The reason we're running this is because uh, at 108 speed, we're outspeeding the, or 28 speed puts us at 108. Um, we're outspeeding the Pokemon Creeping for Dragapult at 107 by one point, and under Tailwind, we can outspeed opposing Dragapult, smack him with a Shadow Ball, probably one shot off of that 130 base special attack. Uh, and then from then on out, it's just coverage moves, baby. You know, we're just hitting the Dazzling Gleam, we're hitting the Make It Rain, uh, we're hitting the Nene on occasion because Goldango looks like it's an amazing dancer. Uh, but yeah, like that's all I really have to say about Goldango. I think the only thing that really threatens Goldango are going to be opposing uh, Shadow, not Shadow Man, opposing Fluttermane, and especially opposing Arcanine. Like that's going to be a major issue for this guy. Those Snarls, that, you know, uh, that uh, Flare Blitz, just the fact that it like walls out pretty much everything this wants to go for but Shadow Ball, which honestly Shadow Ball isn't going to be one shining any Arcanine anytime soon. Yeah, like it, it is going to be its main counter. I think that if there's anything stopping Goldango from being top tier, it's the fact that there's like a 99% chance Arcanine is going to be a top tier in this metagame. But let me know what you guys think about Goldango in the comment section down below. As always, comment down below what you want me to use next or make a moveset guide on next. Uh, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.